Hey, it's Matt. Good to be back with you. Okay, so now we've been out full time in our fifth wheel for about three and a half months and we're starting to see some wear and tear and we're starting to see some parts that are starting to give us the indication that they're going to fail pretty soon. One of those parts is what's called an anti-siphon valve, sometimes called a vacuum breaker valve. And what that is, is it's a little valve and it looks exactly like this. All right. This is usually at the high water point uh, of your RV, especially if you have uh, an, an integrated black tank flusher system. Mine happens to be right under the bathroom sink. Pretty kind of kind of hard to get to, but uh, you can get to it. And what this does is water only goes one way in the valve and it's a spring loaded valve in there and what this does is if you have a black tank flusher it prevents anything in the black tank from coming back up back into your water line and going out and contaminating the park water supply which would be bad so now i'm going to take you under the bathroom sink and i'm going to show you what it looks like what it sounds like when it's about to fail so that you can be properly prepared if you hear that sound one of these valves is about to fail. So let's go into the bathroom sink and see what it sounds like. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. If you have a noise like this coming from under your bathroom sink, you have a bad anti-siphon valve or a, or a bad breaker valve, they call them sometimes. And this is usually at the high water point of your trailer. High water point on mine is right under the bathroom sink point is you should not have this noise you should you should barely hear a water noise going through this means that that anti-siphon valve is bad eventually it's gonna fail and it's gonna flood this whole underside of my sink so you can see that that here's your red hot water line and the cold water line and these it, the anti-siphon valve is attached to these two white water lines you can't see it because it's all the way up under here. You got to be some kind of a chimpanzee to, to get in there and get that thing out. But I'm going to get in there and get that out. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do to fix it. I'm actually going to replace mine with a solid piece of pipe because you really don't need it. But if you have the sound, your anti-siphon valve is bad and it's about to fail. So let's go see how we're going to fix it. Okay, so here we are. Here's the offending part. Uh, all we're going to do is we're going to make uh, a little fitting out of some pipe connectors, a little elbow, and a couple of threaded connectors because you see this is threaded on. And we need to thread this on the fittings, a little piece of pipe. So what we're going to do is we're going to glue it together with just some normal old PVC cement. So first of all, we're going to make a little elbow here. And you don't need very much PVC cement at all because these are very small fittings. And I'm just gonna put a little bit around there and just a little bit in there. I'm gonna press this fitting together, wipe it off with our paper towel so you don't have a bunch of excess. All right, now there's one side of the fitting. Okay, now we're gonna come down here and we're gonna put just a little bit of PVC cement in there. Glue that one in there like that. And believe me, this PVC cement, I mean welds like iron. I'm gonna put this fitting on there, give it a little twist, give it a little cleanup. Okay, now we've got our original part fold this over so we're working on a clean side we've got our original part here and we've got our repaired part here pretty pretty darn close pretty darn close I mean this is really close enough for government work I think that's gonna work out really really good now I'm gonna go install this under the sink in place of this backflow valve all right and it is going to eliminate all the noise that's coming from this and you can hear it that thing's vibrating really loudly under the sink this part is going to replace this part it's going to totally eliminate all of the noise and it's going to totally eliminate the prospect 
of that valve failing and flooding the entire underside of my bathroom sink. So I'm going to go install it and then we're going to test it. Okay, so here's our fitting installed and all it does is it threads right in there and it eliminates that valve and it puts a solid piece of pipe in place of that backflow valve. Now, this should be really, really cool. I'm gonna go flush the tanks and turn on the backflow flusher and we're gonna see what kind of repair job we did. Okay, our black tank flusher's on. It's running full speed right now and you can see there is absolutely no sound. There's no leaks. I did put a little bit of Teflon tape under there because I was getting just a little drop of water from the bottom one. But this is the way it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to sound, like nothing. I'm not really worried about the backflow because you hardly ever get a backflow uh, unless you have a really serious low water pressure problem with the park water supply. But there's a successful repair cost me about a dollar and 25 cents worth of CPVC fittings. So let's go up and see what we learned today. Okay, what did we learn today? We learned that it's a good thing to try to learn how to make your own repairs on your RV because the more repairs that you can make successfully on your RV, the more you're gonna save in service fees because they would have charged you, at Camping World for instance, they would have charged you $185 an hour to fix that backflow valve that cost me a dollar and 25 cents worth of materials to fix you probably would have been looking at 250 dollars to fix that fitting really really easy don't be scared to try it on your own uh just a little bit of pvc pipe and some glue and we made a piece of pipe that looks just like this that really really replaces your backflow valve uh i wouldn't be concerned about not having an anti-siphon valve because most parks now, especially this one, has an anti-backflow fitting on the main water supply. So you, you, you really can't you really can't hurt the park water supply. So here's how to fix that nagging, stupid anti-siphon, or sometimes called breaker valve. Here's how to fix this stupid little valve that's eventually going to fail and flood the bottom cabinet of your bathroom in your RV. So once again, this is Matt from RV Travel TV and I will see you on the road.